Hey guys, what's good? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. So this message is for aspiring UI, UX designers, those of you who are coming out of college or anyone who is coming from a different discipline other than UI, UI design. You're coming from print design background, illustration, graphic design, and so forth, photography, and you're wanting to get into UI, UX design. I've actually this past week or so have gotten a lot of messages from uh, folks that are in college. They are graduating next spring and um, they're wanting to me to review their portfolio and they're interested in some career advice because they're going to be getting into the job market soon. And so this is where, uh, you know, you're going to have to start going out there. And, and, and so there's no more these fun projects at, at school and whatnot. You got to start looking into the job market. So they're, they're asking for advice. Here's my advice to anybody who is coming from a different discipline as well as those of you who are in college about to embark into the UI, UX design industry. Here's what I see. A lot of folks ask me to review their portfolios. If you're in work or coming from a different, different discipline, what I notice about your portfolios is you have a broad range of, of work. A lot of times I see logo design work in there, graphic design work in there, um, brochure work, product packaging design, illustrations, paintings, a lot of things like that, right? What you're going to want to do is, is remember, you're getting into a discipline. If you're looking for a job in tech or something like that, you're looking to get hired by Amazon. You're looking to get hired by ADP. You're looking to get hired by Facebook or Google or what have you, right? You're going to have to focus your portfolio on those, on the essential work that's tied into that discipline, okay? Without being too harsh, you gotta put all your fun stuff and projects to the side and focus, bring your UI, UX design work to the forefront, okay? So if you've been working on paintings for the last year, you've been doing logo designs for the last year, you've been doing uh, graphic design work, like brochures and stuff like that, that stuff is cool and all that. You can have that as, as hobbies, but for the most part, if you're going into UI, UX design, that doesn't help you in that aspect, okay? They wanna see your thought process in flushing out a full product design, all right? So from concept to end, they wanna see your thought process on how you go through the UI, UX design process in coming up with a product design, all right? And so, a lot of times in college over the last few years, um, you know, you probably worked on, you know, a cool project, an art project here and there, um, some product packaging and whatnot. If your goal is to get land into that line of work in an agency, then bring that work to the forefront. Okay. But um, if, if, if you're looking to get a job in UI, UX design, okay, it doesn't involve logo design. All right. That's one thing that was really, very hard for me to um, grasp because I started from a graphic design background and so a lot of my work was uh, I was doing brochures I was doing logo designs that was fun icons all this stuff right and so as time went on I had to kind of put that stuff to the side and and though I enjoyed doing that stuff that's the fun stuff because it, that's where all the creative stuff comes in um, you really got to think about your portfolio and put your UI UX design work to the forefront. Also, if in college and whatnot didn't didn't allow you to focus on lots and lots and lots of, of UI UX design projects, you want to start continuing to work on personal projects until you land a job. And so, in the job market, what I think you should do is obviously uh, start looking for internships. Okay, because though you worked on some, you're gonna. It, Internships will be invaluable. I don't know exactly how internships work nowadays. I know at ADP we had a few interns that we worked with uh, every summer. Um, they they we hire companies like ADP and, and other tech companies hire internships for several months and so forth. I don't know if they're paid internships. If they're not, I I, I don't know the exact thing of that because I don't do it. I'm I'm totally out of that that realm internships and whatnot. But if you can get an internship at a tech company, obviously that, that's invaluable, right? So then you're gonna soak up all the knowledge and working with folks like myself and just learning as for the next few months before, and you might get an offer, job offer from that particular company and whatnot. And, but for the most part, as you're looking for internships, you always have to be working on personal projects, UI, UX design works until 
you can land that job, okay? It doesn't matter if you're, com if you're just coming out of college or coming from another industry. Until you land the job, be working on a current project. And once you're done with that project, be start working on another project, all right? And uh, for those of you who are who are, uh, have been looking, have, have had a portfolio and you're in the job market and you're pushing out your resume and there's no luck. I just tweeted out a, another video um, that I did last year. It's called Scrap. Sometimes you have to scrap your portfolio. All right, I really recommend if you're struggling, if you're in the market, you're looking for work and you're, you're not sure about your portfolio, watch the video. Just go to my YouTube channel or just type in Mike Locke and type in Scrap Your Portfolio, okay? I'm not saying you have to scrap your portfolio. I'm saying sometimes we have to go there, okay? You don't have to go there just yet. Do all the other stuff I said. Work hard, push out, look for inter internships, um, work on your personal projects, and I think and uh, narrow your broad disciplines and your portfolio work. Put all your stuff to the side and push your UI, UX design work to the top, and I think that will help you as you embark and go into the job market. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this was helpful. Hit the thumbs up if you like the things I talk about. Always, if you have any questions, if you're out of coming, in, if you're in school, you're coming out of school, if you're coming from another job market and you want to ask me a personal question uh, to help you out, go to my website, mlopco.com. You can see the link somewhere on this on this video, and use the contact link on my site to ask me your questions. I'll be happy to answer that when I have some free time. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll talk soon. Peace.